If you're watching this video, you're probably looking for explanation on primes, the cool looking and maybe even better frames and weapons of Warframe. I'm Tipsy and today we'll be going over primes in Warframe. And here are some of the points we'll be covering throughout the video, so let's just get right into it. So what are primes? Primes comes in a few different types. You have your frames and weapons, which you probably have seen by now, but you can also get companions and arc wings on top of accessories. And the prime version is usually an upgraded version of their normal counterpart, the non-prime version. So in short, many items in the game has a counterpart. For example, the new Gauss Prime, which recently came out, got released with Gauss Prime as a frame, but also his counterpart weapons, which got a prime version so the actual Ultra Prime and the Air Carrier's Prime. And also all Prime parts before crafting are tradable, so this could be a decent way to make a little bit of plat if you're new to the game. So what is the actual difference between a normal and a Prime in Warframe? Prime frames, weapons and so on usually have a slightly higher stat than normal. They often come with more base polarities, which are these little things on your weapon mods right here, and of course a Prime look. Overall, the Prime version is usually better by a very small amount, and even sometimes a little easier to farm, which we will be covering next. So how do you actually farm and get these Primes? Well, simply enough, you just have to farm Void Fisher missions, which you can find right here in your menu. These are unlocked by having unlocked the node before, so it's a very good idea to begin unlocking all your nodes if you want to have access to the most possible fisher missions you can. But you can't just go and farm void fisher missions off the get-go, because you actually have to go and get something called a void relic to be able to get the prime parts for the mission which you unlock after doing your Mars Junction mission. So go complete that if you haven't, and after that you will access to this little beautiful thing in your ship, and here you'll be able to see all of your relics. Void relics basically just drop from mission rewards and bounties and different things in the game. So you can be able to farm these by doing certain missions and different types which we'll be going over. So Void Relics comes in 5 different tiers, basically Lyph, Meso, Neo, Axie and Recrarium Relics. For the Lyph Relic, it is normally recommended to go farm the Hepid mission in the Void. This is a capture mission, so you'll just have to complete it as fast as you can, as it has a high chance of dropping a Relic, but you can also get Aya from doing this mission. Then there are the Meso Relics, which are normally recommended to farm in the Olympus Disruption mission, just doing waves and that, or in the Yuko Void mission, which is a capture mission just like the Lilith one, so just go and be fast on that. For the Neo Relics, it is normally recommended to do the Yuko Void as said before, but you can also do the Yua on Uranus, which is the Disruption mission again, and just do waves and that. These are normally the most recommended for the Neo Relics. For the Axo Relics, it is just normally the Apollo mission on Lua, which is a disruption mission. You will probably unlock this later on in the game, but this is like the most normal mission to probably farm these Axie Relics in. And lastly, we have the Aquarium Relics, which are for Kuva and doing Liches. So this is something we'll be going over in another video, but they do drop from Kuva Floods and Kuva Siphon missions, if you're wondering. And if you want to know what relics to actually farm for the frame you want, just go into your ship to the relic station and search the frame you want. You'll be able to tap on the relics and see where they drop, and if it says Vaulted, then it is not droppable for that type. We will be going over Vaulted Relics in a moment. So what exactly are these relics and void relics with different names and stuff? So inside these hundreds of different relics are three different tiers of loot. You can get common, uncommon and rare. These all have different drop chances as shown here, but the relics can also be upgraded from attacked to exceptional, flawless and radiant. This will also upgrade the chance of getting some of the higher tiers to a higher percentage. For that you will need something called Void Tracers, which you get by completing Void Fisher missions. Which are basically the missions everything involves in. But remember, each relic will be destroyed after you have opened it, so think of it like a small loot box. But instead of buying a key and opening a box, you run a mission with other people and then get to choose the reward from your relic or their relics. And yes, multiple people can choose the same reward, so don't worry about that. This is also the reason why it is normally recommended to actually run relics in a full squad, and you are probably gonna get a full squad either way if you are playing online. There's also something called a rat share, where basically everyone will run the same relic, upgraded to radiant, and then you have a higher chance of actually getting the thing you wanna get. Also, one very important thing is, once you're inside these fisher missions, you wanna get 10 reactants. This is very important if you actually wanna get the loot at the end of the mission. 
So these drop from yellow enemies, which are glowing a little bit, and they will drop throughout the mission, so just remember to pick these up and try and get the 10 out of 10. So now that we're at the point where we can farm void relics and actually get prime pass by running the relics in the fisher missions, how do you actually get the frames you wanna get? Well first to understand that we have to go over what all the relics are because they are important to this. So in Warframe there is a kind of a rotation on relics, that means sometimes certain relics will enter the prime vault, that just means they are out of the drop table and you can no longer obtain these relics through normal means. They can still be traded and you don't lose them when they've been vaulted so don't worry about that, they are just not in the drop table anymore. So if the frame you're looking for is currently vaulted, that means you will have to either buy the parts or the relics from another player, or you will have to go and wait for something called the Prime Resurgence. The Prime Resurgence is a monthly rotating shop which sells these vaulted relics. It basically chooses like two frames every month that you can then buy the relics for Aya. The Prime Resurgence can be accessed both through the marketplace but also by going to this location at Vasia. And currently there's over 500 vaulted relics, so I definitely recommend checking out the Warframe wiki to actually see which frames, weapons and so on are vaulted. You can go to this website right here and you'll be able to see underneath the vaulted frames if they're vaulted or not. So you can just see the V here and that means the frame is currently vaulted. This should help you understand which frames can be more casually farmed and which you might have to go a little out of your way to actually obtain. But keep in mind that just running any normal relic, you also have the three other people in your squad as a reward, so you might be able to get some loot through those, as those small rewards can also be used to sell on the marketplace and then buy the things you actually want to get if there's something certain you'll want to farm for. This could be a way to do this. And if you are gonna be making plat or buying and selling frame parts, I highly recommend using the warframe.market, so feel free to use that instead of the trade chat. <laughs> And for prime frames and their release order, when it comes to new prime frames and their release order, they're usually released in the same order as they were normally released and comes with the prime version of their Warframe released weapons. Sometimes extra weapons, companions and arc wings can also be part of the prime release. And you can go to the Warframe wiki again and check the release dates of the different frames and get a kind of an idea of when the next frame and what the next frame is gonna be. But keep in mind sometimes there might be small switches which was seen with the Grindel and Gauss Prime releases as they were switched around. But this should help you get a kind of an idea of what frame is gonna come next, uh, even though it can't be 100% certain. Normally Prime frames are released every 3 months, while normal frames are released every 2 months, so there should be plenty of frames to farm out there. So now we have basically been over most of the stuff concerning the primes in Warframe. There is some extra stuff probably I might have missed and if I did miss something feel free to leave a comment on what I missed or skipped over maybe. We also got a Warframe clan now so if anyone is looking for an in-game clan just feel free to ask to join it and I should be able to send you an invite. You can also join our discord and actually go in and we do have a little button here where you can click in and get the clan role and you will be able to just whisper me in there. But that's it for the video, so if you felt it was helpful or useful in any sort of a way, a like would be very appreciated. Also remember to subscribe and yeah, see you in the next video. Peace out.